it's been said many times, many ways. Merry Christmas to you. That's not roasting. Black frost nipping at your nose. So I'm Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. I'm Kenzie and today in mean, today's video I'm trying out pizza for the very first time. Forgive my puffy face. I just woke up from a very long sleep. I was supposed to do this video by one o'clock but now it's three o'clock I overslept so that's why my eyes are puffy and my face is swollen. So in case you do not know Jenny just came back. Jenny's my very <laughs> Jenny is my only younger sister so she just came back and the spirit of Christmas I'm deciding to surprise them with a very cute meal or snack so I felt like ah, they've already eaten everything they've eaten rice and vegetable sauce they've eaten afan soup so I just wanted to do something I wanted to do something very 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 nice for them so i'm deciding to make them a chicken pizza this is my very first time of actually trying out pizza and i know it's going to come out well because there is nothing that i cook that doesn't taste very well if you know me you'll understand what i'm saying i already went to the market i went to the market before i actually started sleeping so all the ingredients i'm needing are here there are just minimal ingredients just in case you want to make pizza i'm going to be showing you a very quick and easy step that you can use in making your pizza so let's get right to the video she's sleeping now and my mom is sleeping and we're supposed to be filming this video together so when i go inside i want to wake them up so we can start making this pizza because you know how we do it in african or oh, one person doesn't cook like why can i why if it's my mom my mom is going to involve everybody so that is why i want to also involve everybody in this cooking because afterwards all of us will still eat it but then helen is here helen come and say hello 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 what <laughs> so that's that so let's get right to the video so for a start you need a clean bowl for this process or this procedure and i have my sieve here and i have my floor if your floor is already sieved then you don't have to do this process all you have to do is just keep this process but this is just me trying to pour the quantity of floor i need for this recipe into this sieve so i can sieve it out um in nigeria here our floors are not always very smooth um you might notice that there are going to be some particles or whatnot inside your floor so it's just better you see it but in this case this floor was just perfect so another thing i don't really know is the quantity i just decided to use this whole quantity and at the end of the day actually the floor was too much so make sure you are using a very small quantity that if you are not looking at making the pizza for many people so next i'm putting in my yeast so this yeast is just so it's 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 it rises up <laughs> so that's the whole point of adding the yeast and again i don't know the quantity i'm adding i'm just adding i mean i'm just using my eyes to measure it but please don't be like me look for a standard quantity or look for anybody's video that you would see the quantity so you can just know what you are doing but then i added the yeast after my yeast was set i'm putting in my sugar the dough doesn't need to be too too sour i mean the dough has to be sweet to some extent so i added my sugar with no quantity also just using my eyes to measure it so that i can just be sure about what i'm doing next i have my spatula here <clears throat> i'm using my spatula to just tear everything up just so the ingredients can come into each other i did that for about three minutes just so everything you know come together please do not be like me i added more flour because i felt like it wasn't enough and then i added more sugar because i felt like since i added my flour i should add more sugar don't be like me please 
at this point i'm adding my eggs and i'm using two eggs for this um this whole floor because the the ones or the videos i've been seeing of pizza they really do not add so much egg in the dough sometimes it's one sometimes it's two it's two, it's two depending on the quantity but i'm deciding to put two eggs because i feel like this quantity of floor is just too much for the it's just too much then after i'm adding my mandarin and i'm using king so whatever butter or margarine you think is best for you is what you should use after the margarine was in place i gently used my spatula to mix it up you might want to use your spatula or you can as well use your hands anyone that is fit for you i just decided to go in with my spatula first because i don't really want to sell my hand i beg so i did that for some times and when i was sure that it was at least together i moved to the next step the next step is the milk um process so i actually steamed this milk <coughs> sorry i actually steamed this milk because i wanted it to be warm and this milk is the point where i actually um flopped a little bit i put many water in this mixture please do not make your dough like your dough doesn't need too many water the water is just supposed to be <clears throat> not like water water because i'm saying water the liquid is not supposed to be too liquid you can see what's happening here i was like oh my god so the problem was that i added too much liquid and it was giving <laughs> it was giving golden moon vibes and it is not golden moon i want to do i want to make pizza so i had to add more flour just to make my dough thick and as you can see my flour is finished and the dough is still not thick so i quickly had to go to the market to get another flour just so i can make this dough thick because if your dough is like this you obviously cannot work with this what are, what are you trying to achieve so that is just what's happened please do not be like me make sure you add your liquid in badges in very small quantity just so you'll be able to know that oh my dough is now okay don't be like me i beg so on the other hand prep is ongoing here is the chicken we are going to be using for this pizza my mom is actually shredding the chicken to the best of our ability we already had it cooked and seasoned very well so this is just her slicing it in a small quantity just so we can sprinkle it on the pizza and here i'm trying to make my puri that little thing you're seeing inside the pot is the stock that was gotten from our chicken prep and i'm using a sachet tomatoes to make this um puree these tomatoes contains um tomatoes salt and pepper and onion mm -hmm. that's why i actually went for this one so we didn't have ketchup and i was not seeing myself buying ketchup because ketchup is even too expensive so i just said instead of making this pizza out of ketchup let me create my own ketchup so this is me dissolving the tomatoes in this um stuff i later added oil actually like groundnut oil just so it can steam very well and that bitter taste that it has is actually going to fade away and it wasn't bad the aim was actually achieved so if you have ketchup fine but if you do not have ketchup you might want to consider using this my step next door is a preparation for the cheese here jenny is actually prepping the cheese you need lots and lots of cheese anyway it depends on how cheesy you want your pizza to be like if you have if you want lots of cheese in your pizza then you have to create more cheese if you want a small quantity of cheese you have to go for a small quantity of cheese 
I actually didn't know that cheese was actually very expensive. But then we move. This is me gracing the pans I want to use for my pizza. We actually do not have like a pizza pan, so I'm making use of my tray. I just found out that this tray can enter into our oven, which was the most important thing. I mean, which is the most important thing. So when I found that out, I said, okay, well, let me say that this one I go use. So that's why I'm greasing this pan. I'm actually making use of these two pans because this dough is too big. <laughs> so that's it. So then I cut out the dough I want to put in the pan. And here is what we have. You can see the quantity of dough I have in this pan. That is my major mistake. I was supposed to put a very small quantity of dough, roll it up in a roller, like as if I want to make chin chin, make it very flat, and then put it in this pan. But then it's my first time, so I didn't have much experience. But now, as I'm editing this video, I'm realizing my own mistakes and it's not a bad thing so the next time i'm going to make it my pizza you're going to be seeing a more professional look but please do not be like me don't go through the lane i went through make sure you roll your pizza dough in a flat surface just so you can achieve a flat um a flat exterior <laughs> or a flat surface i don't know how to put it and then don't make your pizza dough too big because you're not making bread you're making pizza the dough is supposed to be big i know but then not to a very bad egg like not too 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 big you're going to see what i mean in 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 a while don't worry yourself but i sure did eat i put in this um one it was it was nice actually i was beginning to feel like oh this pizza is going to come out well then I also put the dough in this other um, pan. That being done, I'm now going in with my tomato puri. So this is where your ketchup comes in. If you have ketchup, fine. If you don't have ketchup, please don't kill yourself. <laughs> So um, <clears throat> I actually added my puri at this point. You can see my surface, like the surface of my pizza is not so smooth. Whereas if I had used a roller, it would have been smooth. So nothing spoiled with me regardless.
So another mistake I made was to add dry pepper on top of my pizza. When I was making the pizza, I was feeling like, oh, this pepper is not going to be enough. You know, we Africans, we like our pepper being too extra. And then I got influenced by my mom and my sister because I'm not going to say I did this alone. I consulted them and they said, why not add pepper at the top? So I did. I added pepper at the top of the pizza and then it spoiled my pizza. So please, if you must try out pizza, do not sprinkle any pepper at the top or maybe i added the pepper too much yeah? but i'll prefer you just add the pepper into your puri if you know you want more pepper then make sure your puri has the pepper that's just all i observed otherwise this was just the perfect pizza just ignore the fact that you are seeing this pepper imagine the pizza without this pepper it's just wonderful and then also the dough was just something else you can see how swollen the dough actually turned out to be it was it was it was it was so soft it was just it was so sweet i mean i, I don't know how to explain it but this was just the perfect dough it's just that it is too big i told you guys earlier i added too many dough inside the thing you can see the the width or oh, what i say yes the width is very it's very wide it's very big and then the back is also very nice. So let's taste the pizza together. Eat it again. Wait, sir. It's not easy over here. It's not easy over here. For your mind, huh? For your mind. He's sweet. Nobby. He's sweet. That's so. Nigerian way. So, you're eating like bread. <laughs> pizza, pizza. So, I made the pizza successfully. The pizza was okay. But then, as you saw, the toppings, especially the dry pepper, spoiled the pizza because it was now making, it now, it now covered the whole ingredient. So, it was more looking as fine as it was when it was not, when it was fresh. You understand what I'm saying? and then i feel like the dough was too big like you know this is my first time so the thing was not really it was not really perfect the dough was too big um if we, if i hadn't put too much um flour i think it would have been better the dough was big to the extent that we had to make a bread out of that dough so that's one thing i feel i did wrong but aside that the taste is perfect not too perfect i won't lie not too perfect but it was not too bad also so we have eaten it and then we're just getting ready to go and sleep because it's already night time so maybe next time when i make another pizza i'm going to learn from my mistakes i'm going to correct the errors i made and that's all that's going to be happening so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please try out this recipe it's a good one and if you must try it out also make sure that you make your dough very small your dough shouldn't be as thick as mine and let me show you guys the bread i don't think i have showed you the bread let me break this so yes the bread the bread came out very nicely i mean it's on these two pan i just hope that it's going to be sweet because the dough was sweet and it was very soft that's one thing i like about the bread so 